if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see here what, what Strike Force Sub Zero. What's going on guys? It's Kude here and we have some big news from Warner Brothers. Um, their community manager actually posted a, well, Discord announcement. Uh, for some reason, I don't think it's on their Twitter still, but on their Discord server they posted a survey. And let me go into detail on what this is. A free diamond will be given to us for the anniversary of Mortal Kombat. Now let me explain a few things. Number one, the anniversary of Mortal Kombat is April 7th. Next up, they did give us a free diamond last year for the anniversary of the game. However, they did not give us just any diamond. It was only a handful. Classic Liu Kang was in there, which was great. But for free-to-play players, you can already get characters like Classic Liu Kang, Bounty Hunter Aaron Black, and others similar to him. It wasn't the best. We wanted to see a new diamond pack. And for the 30th year anniversary of the Mortal Kombat franchise, they delivered. They gave us a pack that had the chance to pull anything besides the latest character at the time and nightmares. So we had any diamond, including Joker, Rain, Fujin, all sorts of diamonds, which is perfect for, for new players. But this survey, let me just read it out to you. Hello, everyone. Mortal Kombat turns 8 this year. Tell us which characters from the current roster that you would like to see in a new anniversary gift pack. Vote up to 8 characters. All players will be guaranteed one Diamond Fighter when the pack debuts in April. Like I said, April 7th is the anniversary of Mortal Kombat, and I'm pretty sure that somewhere around there is when they are going to drop this diamond pack. So don't think this is be going to be coming out like the next week or anything. This is coming out in April, but they want to gauge what what we want in uh, coming out here soon. Now, if you want to you know, ensure, is this official? Is this a real announcement? Yes, this comes from the official Mortal Kombat Discord server which I think is just, let me get the link here, discord.gg slash Mortal Kombat Mobile. That is their official Discord server. Anyways, we're first going to be playing a few survivor mode runs, and then we're actually going to be voting on this survey. I wanted to use a really fun team that I have not tried before, using characters that I haven't played with in a while. First off, MK11 Liu Kang. Uh, I have been using him, actually, so he's not the character that I'm talking about here. But MK11 Rain and MK11 Scarlet. Both of these characters have not been used on my channel for quite a bit of time. And it's a crime, because those characters are super fun to play. The only issue is... It's hard to get them to work right, alright? I'm gonna be 100% honest. It is hard to get these characters to work right. You've got, you gotta play right. Also, Brutality. I have Brutality on all these characters here. That's just to make this fun, alright? This is not some average free-to-play team here. It is a maxed out Diamond team after all. I think after two games of Survivor Mode, we're gonna vote on the survey and then we're going to end off with this Survivor Mode run. And I also want to talk more about uh, free packs while we're at it and also speculation because their survey has something very interesting in it. There's a typo or possibly a hint at something upcoming. We're going to get into that. But let's play survivor mode first against Ricey, which has classic rain maxed out, Black Dragon, Aaron Black, and MK11 Fujin. Pretty insane, Ricey. What's your equipment? Dang! Ricey. There's only one gear he doesn't have max, which is Living Dead. Go figure. It's very old. If you haven't already figured, one of the biggest issues with playing with a team similar to this is that there is nothing to save you. I hope my audio level is right. No, please don't use SP2. That's annoying. Okay. He didn't He didn't kill us off though. What the heck? MK11 Liu Kang is insane with uh, his brutality gear. That was the brutality gear, that wasn't the character. Uh, the fireball came in and just did a massive amount of damage. Please do not use SP2. Man, classic rain. Holy cow. 
I need to use SP2 against you to hopefully cripple. No, cripple resisted. All right, we gotta use. We gotta use him. Oh goodness, this better be block breaking. Oh, please kill you. Please kill you. Yeah, Living Dead's gonna save him. That's all right. We we power drain him. This is gonna last long enough. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Rain has amazing recovery, by the way. MK11 Rain has an incredible amount of recovery, which does make him very good. Oh, we had Death Mark on. <laughs> it's not like we had any equipment to save us anyways. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Shintai in the north. Oh, so we have Team Frostbite being applied to him. I wanted to spam SP2 with Scarlet, but we ran into an issue. We gotta be careful because I crashed when trying to do brutality against this guy. And I certainly do want do not want to crash right now. We're so far into our run. Really? What wait 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 what's going on here? What's going on here? What's happening? Why'd you not die? There we go. Do you guys see that? I did a combo under and it did no damage. The hell? Sometimes I just don't understand. Like, how can a combo under just not do the damage? <laughs> it is Scarlet, though, and I haven't played Scarlet in so long that maybe her combo unders are just... I... MK11 Scarlet is tricky. She's really fun to, to play because of the blood um, when you kill off a character. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about Scarlet. I want to trigger that because I want to get double. I want to have the fire on my hands, and I also want it to be raining blood at the same time. That would be really cool. So when Scarlet defeats an opponent, I wish it would be any MK11 character. That would be much better for her passive if it was any MK11, but it only is Scarlet. And because of her SP2 not being unblockable, that comes with a serious price. For trying to spam something like Shintai of the North, uh, I did put this instead of Weather Warfare. Weather Warfare is a better gear to put on, but I wanted to use something current. Uh... We just can't use block breaking on our SP attack 2, and that, that makes the strategy uh, fall apart a little bit. Hopefully, this goes well. Jade's going to be our first opponent. Maybe I want to tag him with uh, MK11 Liu Kang straight away, just to try to deal with Jade. I don't know. Man, those boss battles with Jade... <sighs> Seriously gets my blood boil boiling. Good thing I'm using Scarlet, though, because she's going to want to use that blood. Came to suck you dry. Whatever line that was supposed to be. You know when they created that. They, you know what they were implying. Come on. Please. Please. Let me get one attack against you. We're going to block. And then use SP2. Oh, you still blocked. I hate you so much, Jade. She still blocks even on the tag and damage for <laughs> MK11 Liu Kang. We're going to use SP1. And it's going to be lethal, so it's probably going to kill her off. Perfect. Oh, is that gonna kill me? Oh my gosh. No. I I tagged out, guys. I tagged out. I'm gonna revive. That was so dumb. I definitely tagged out. Now we're gonna use SP2. This will um cause Team Frostbite. Never mind. No need to. Yep. Oh, and the blood. I I don't I don't know. Maybe I mistimed something there. Now we get to use MK11 terrain. MK11 terrain? What the heck? Who's that? This is a team I played before. Not MK11 Liu Kang, obviously, since he's new. But this combo with Scorpion, I think. Thank you. That will be all. We lost a member today, folks. We lost a member, but we're going to bring him back. He's not going down that fast. Oh my goodness. It's taken forever to find an opponent. So that was two games. So we need to actually um, do the survey now. But before we do the survey, I wish we're on to revive my team really quick and have a look at this. We're fighting against an, a maxed MK11 Liu Kang. What is happening with faction wars nowadays? Like everyone's using maxed MK11 Liu Kang. You don't understand that they're, they're, you can't get him from a tower drop. Like you literally have to pay for him. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so this is the anniversary poll that I was talking about. Here's a few things that I got wrong about the poll. Number one, that this was going to be a free diamond pack. No, this seems to be a soul pack that they're creating. And what I misread was that this pack was going to guarantee a diamond and that one of these eight was going to be obtained. Right, but actually it just says all players will be guaranteed one diamond when the pack debuts. 
this pack isn't going to be giving the diamond guaranteed. This pack is most likely going to be a soul pack. Now, we've actually had a soul pack before that was guaranteed to be a diamond. Well, okay, this doesn't guarantee a diamond, but I we've had an anniversary gift that guaranteed a diamond for 1,300 souls. I'll just say that now. Uh, unrelated, kind of, in, in a way. Uh, but that pack has never debuted ever since the fifth year anniversary of Mortal Kombat. This is the first ever time that Mortal Kombat has asked us, and they've asked us for our input on what characters we want to see in a soul pack. From the beginning of Mortal Kombat to the end, or not the end, we're still going, but since the beginning of MK Mobile, they go in order. The new soul packs go in order regardless. They don't sort by who likes the character the most or uh, being biased towards the newest character. They start with which character they haven't made the soul pack for and work their way up. And that's the way that they've always treated everything in this game. So the fact that we might be able to get a unique soul pack with custom characters is pretty freaking sick. The only issue is what the hell are the chances going to be? And that is a good question. What the what the hell are the chances going to be? We have to pray that they don't they have some mercy on us. All right, they got to have some mercy on us. And uh, also, I agree with Mand. Please put a pity system if you're if you're gonna do a custom pack for like all of us. Please put a pity system. I don't know how much it's gonna be limited to. Uh, probably like twenty or ten. But anyways, okay. Let's start voting though. All right. I don't want to stall too much. We got a lot of new characters and old characters. But something is weird down at the bottom. First, I want to start by voting for a few characters. Now. I'm not trying to influence this poll. I think you should vote for exactly what you want, and I don't want to change your mind. But I do want, or I do want to tell you something to take into consideration. Don't. I, I wouldn't only vote a character based on whether you want them. I would think about the obtainability of the character and the usefulness of the character at that low fusion, not fusion X, the low fusions. And I think um, a lot of the newer characters are useful at fusion level zero and also extremely difficult to unlock because they're new and only rare drops in towers, right? And that is a good indication on whether you should vote for the character or not, in my opinion. But if you still want to vote for something like Classic Liu Kang, uh, Hellspawn, Scorpion, stuff like that, you can, but I probably wouldn't just because those characters are easily in soul packs. While their drop rate is low, it's still there. But for characters like Ace of Names Joker, there's only one pack in the entire game for souls that you can get Ace of Names Joker from. It's a 5% chance from the Combat Cup pack, limited to 20. So we're going to start with this guy. He's good. Very fun to play. I think all beginners should be able to get a copy of him, but they aren't able to normally. And then we're going to scroll down here. I'm not going to pick any assassins. I don't want assassins. I don't want black dragon characters. They've got custom soul packs. If the developers want to drop them, then they can drop them. There's no harm, no foul. Uh, and Circle Shadows characters, they all have soul packs too. We're done, you know? We don't we don't need to put these in here. You can easily get these from packs like Elite Netherrealm Elder God. I'm going to personally avoid picking these, but you can if you want to for some of these here. I'm actually not going to be voting for Fire God Liu Kang. I just... I don't think he's as useful at fusion level zero and he's definitely not a boss killer so nah not my t not my cup of tea for this uh classic goro no hellspawn scorpion obviously no but classic movie raiden is very fun and useful at fusion level zero so i'm definitely gonna add him to the list uh classic raiden even though he's not hard to obtain in the sense that like he is in a lot of packs he's still an incredible character fusion level zero so i am going to make an exception and put him on my list here i hope all beginners can get a copy of him he just struggles against bosses because his tag and damage doesn't work and we have classic rain classic rain's a no-brainer i i would put him in the poll every single time uh mk11 fujin and then yeah, MK11 Liu Kang for sure. He's no longer going to be a new character anymore. Like, he'll be able to be dropped from towers and everything when this pack comes out. So, like, you know, whatever. But I'm still going to put him in here. And then I would say probably Shang Tsung. How many characters did we vote? We voted seven characters. We need to vote one more. 
And that's just what I wanted to talk about. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see here what, what Strike Force Sub Zero. Man, he's a really good character. Honestly, I've been using Strike Force Sub Zero on my account for so long. Uh, he's that hidden character that you get from the reptile. No. Oh. <laughs> What is this? Is this an, is this like a, a typo? Because I, I noticed personally that there's only one Sub Zero here. Only MK11 Sub Zero is listed, so Strike Force could have been either a typo or they accidentally leaked a new character. Now, if you're leaning towards, oh my God, they, did they actually leak a new character? Well, first off, Cold War Sub Zero is missing and Circle Shadows, so that sounds like it could fit in this category. Actually, let me just double check. Yeah, he's not up here. Uh, so it could fit in that category, but also you can see they put Ty Gray, <laughs> Ty Gray, Ty Gray, not Ty Grar, Ty Gray, Fury Goro, uh, which is my favorite diamond version of Goro. I use him all the time. Uh, no, no. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Classic Goro is already here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if, if this was somehow a leak, let's say hypothetically, oh my god, they leaked Strike Force Scorpion being next, or not Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero, they wouldn't put Tigre, Fury, Goro in this. No, they wouldn't do that. Okay, we got one more character to pick, though. I just wanted to talk about that because it's really funny. I see a lot of people talking about it, and I just, I have a laugh. Maybe M. Killivan Scorpion. There's just, mm, yeah, he's just not that hard to get. He's in a permanent pack. And yeah, it'll take a lot of souls, but it's a permanent pack that's always available. What's a really good character at Fusion Level Zero that's hard to unlock? Like, I can't think of anything right now. Um, maybe Fire Call the King, actually. I mean, I said that he isn't that useful at Fusion Zero, but I can't think of any other hard to unlock character. Like, I, I know there's Night Wolf, and I know there's um, MK11 Rain. I don't, I don't think those characters are... Yeah, maybe Snoop Saibot then. I guess we're gonna have to go with Noob. Noob's fine. This would be so cool if this was actually the pack. Like, all the new characters. This could be a good way for the developers to put all the new characters in a pack all at once. So they don't have to keep making individual soul packs for each new character. They have a soul pack that includes MK11 Liu Kang, Classic, Nightwolf, all of that stuff. And then they can just move on from there and every other new character they can make a new soul pack i i doubt they would do that though regardless i'm extremely happy that warner brothers has decided to do this this is amazing like even with the typo and silliness of this uh, it's still incredible and i'm just so happy that they're gauging with the community uh or not gauging uh engaging with the community engaging for responses from us uh to see what we want instead of what they want, of course, because, you know, they're not going to be making the best decisions for us. Not always. So we're going to click submit. I think we got eight characters. And then it just says, thank you for taking our survey. Your response is very important to us. I hope it was. You guys should track down my individual response and put it on the priority because I'm a YouTuber and I matter more. I'm not. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't take that seriously. We're gonna get back to the gameplay though, so let's transition back to the gameplay. So now let's finish off this video. MK11 Rain, MK11 Liu Kang, and MK11 Scarlet. <sighs> back to this again. <laughs> it's hard to use this team, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm just curious if this is gonna be our, in our inbox or if it's gonna be a pack. Because the 30 year anniversary was like one of the first times that the diamond was not in the inbox. It was a direct pack that we opened up. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so there's Sub-Zero on this team, so we have to be very careful. MK11 Jade's gonna tag back in. We need a Power Drainer, just so she doesn't use anything. Oh, she is gonna snare us. Gosh, dang it. Jade, stop it. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Almost got screwed there. Can we can we get unblockable against Sub-Zero? Or is that just not gonna happen? Oh, we did get it. Okay. Oh my gosh, we didn't even get to kill him off. This is so sad. I think we're just gonna have to stall. This that's our best option right now. We need to stall stall while we still have the chance. Okay, MK11 Liu Kang is going to tag in. Please snare, run out, please. This the snare is still going on. We just have to keep stalling, boys. That's our only way of survival. Excellent. Yep! Okay, snare runs out. Are you kidding me? Is that gonna tank? It isn't gonna tank. My goodness! I clicked that tag out button. 
But I think it's because of the equipment that saved us that caused us to die. My goodness. I forgot that I put one piece on MK11 Liu Kang to save him, but somehow he couldn't even take an x-ray. Like, what the hell? Is this gear really going to, like, do this to me? Oh, he's not able to tag out during the invulnerability. That's why this didn't work. But where in here does it say that an x-ray will still kill him during the invulnerability? Where does it say that? All right, it doesn't say it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I thought MK11 Liu Kang was gonna be the best part of that team, but it turned out he was not. He's He was one of the worst. <gasps> You're kidding me right now. This team is falling apart, boys. This is no wonder we don't put teams together that don't, don't have any sort of revenant options. You just you just need more revenant. What 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 am I using? Here's my talent preset. Oh, we don't have special ending on. That's not really a huge deal. Uh, we weren't even able to kill any characters off last game, anyways. Even if we tried to, we do get to spam SP2. We don't have any defense. All right. Shock for Scorpion is going to go down. I'll make sure of that. Scarlet, please solo for me. Don't tag out. He is going to tag out. Got a block. Luckily, he's not one of those characters that can block break. We can't apply bleed on a combo under, so we have to take initiative. Try to do that. Please apply bleed. Our character, our equipment is a 50% chance to apply bleed on a combo under. 50% chance we haven't got it once. Are you kidding me? Wow. Scorpion tags in. I think we're just going to have to rely on SP1 then. You can spam SP1. That's the cool thing about Scarlet. Oh, bleed resisted. That's why. All right. Now we're going to do it again. We do it again. Nice. All done. Got to it. I love that. <laughs> Scarlet's amazing. About to take him out. No, please. I tried to block. It was too late by the time that I was ready to block. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, that 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 doesn't seem right. How did he how did he do that? Oh boy. Nope. No. What I used SP2 first. Let's be honest. I got my ass kicked. There's nothing other for me to say besides that. I don't have words. We didn't even come close. That was a bad travel mode run. We had some fun with a few games we were able to win, uh, but MK11 Liu Kang just got absolutely wrecked. And I just learned that the Aaron Black gear, although it claims in invulnerability and doesn't say anything about x-rays, it'll still kill you even if an x-ray is used against you. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have NNA Blaster, Ghost EXL, SSSSS, Noxon, Depos, Hamath, 3WPS, Grim, Plain Punch, Poppy Garcia Official, Devil, Stefano, Presh GG, Protax Has, Ali Imran, Karin, Metal Crab 3001, Jeff, BB, The Mist, Frenzo, Exares, Damien, Shadow Sparkles, Jewful Candle, Friendly Guy with the Spurger, Jeremy, Grimmer Mia, Overkill 80, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosy Slav, Siege Empire, Random, Seven Sane, Fierce Wolf, and MK Fire. Thank you guys all for being YouTube members. And yeah, peace out.